honey. It's your Feel Good Breakfast Show indeed. Welcome back. And my lovely, if you are in and around Cape Town right now, I can tell you this much, there's a buzz in the air. Why? The Luris and the SABC, they've come together to celebrate all things creativity in the marketing and advertising space and just the creative space as a whole. Joining us are Dichaba Palanze, Marketing Manager for Video Entertainment at the SABC, and Kamelo Moshapalo, Chairman of the Luris. And they're here to chat about the successful partnership between the SABC and the Luris. It's a collaboration that highlights and celebrates creative excellence across Africa and the Middle East, my friend. And together, they've contributed significantly to the growth of the creative industry, providing a platform that truly unites diverse talent and fosters innovation. Gentlemen, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are yeah. you guys good? There's one cup of cappuccino. Uh -huh. and, uh, it's supposed to be three. <laughs> Did you have a, yes, if you asked you if you wanted coffee, boss, my tongue. Oh, someone get a coffee. The boss has asked, please, please, please. Did you have I'm, a, play, I'm playing with you. I'm playing I know. With you. And, and on that note, I want to wish you a happy belated birthday. Oh, wow. Yes, I waited. I waited from when I saw you. I wanted to do it here. Did you have a good one? I did. Thank you. I was that's well good. rotten by my wife. And oh, kids. that's you. beautiful. I'm Thank so you. glad to hear that. And I feel like you guys are spoiling Cape Town Rotten with this beautiful collaboration because there's so much happening. But let's talk about the significance of it. You know, what exactly does this beautiful collaboration bring as the SABC coming together with the Luris, particularly for local talent, but also just, you know, for the creative industry? So I think the creative economy and the creative hub is very critical to the economy of the country and, and globally, right? But also um, a big contributor to solutions that we face as a nation. Right? Yes. The history between the SABC and the Luris actually goes far back as when the SABC was established, a few mm. years later, the Luris was established really? to encourage brands and advertisers to come on board. Yeah. So this relationship is actually goes far back as the 70s. Yeah. Um, and recently, obviously, we've now identified uh, a new reason for the partnership, you know, through our new leadership, um, um, our group CEO, NOMSA, we have obviously a new strategy mm. um, and, and collaborating with um, um, marketers and brands and celebrating creative excellence is really one of the core reasons why we're here. Yes, and I definitely think that you guys are doing that so well already. I mean, we've been seeing it everywhere, this collaboration, there's master classes and there's such beautiful things happening. It's a marriage of note, ne? but Kabelo, I need to ask you because I feel like with this marriage, it's all about you guys elevating creative creativity on a global stage when it comes to, you know, the creativity that we have in Africa and the Middle East. So let's talk about how the SABC and the Luris are doing that more effectively coming together. So the way that we're doing that coming together, I think um, obviously this show that happens, uh, you know, culminates in two big shows, yes. uh, Awards Night, which is Thursday and uh, Friday. Yes, darling. And then in those, those, on, on those, both those nights, we're mm. going to be obviously celebrating the benchmark of what is creative excellence. So mm. this whole week, um, you know, the judges have been working painstakingly hard to actually go through all the different entries that have come come through from yeah. the region, um, you know, and looking at what is innovative, what is, you know, going to capture people's imaginations and inspire us to actually hit that global stage. Mm, and have you guys been part of any of the judging processes? Yes, I have. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So um, I had the privilege, obviously, of being a jury president for um, a very special category yeah. called South African Non-English, okay. which actually does um, uh, work that is actually in our vernacular. So it's actually specializing in language-based uh, audio pieces. Yes. And then, um, you know, the future of our, our industry, the young creative. So um, I was also looking at uh, some of the entries from that, which mm -hmm. is local and uh, obviously Africa, Middle East. Amazing. Yeah. Hey, jury president, one side, chairman, <laughs> another. I love it for you. And, uh, and, 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 and that category of uh, non-English, where would that category be without the SABC? Honey, right? <laughs> so our radio station. Yeah. Other platform, right? And, yeah. and, and and I think, you know, the, the, the significance of, 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 of our partnership, but what we're trying to say actually is yeah. that creatives, we celebrate you. We recognize mm. how much you contribute. Um, and we specifically are sponsoring the film and radio category, yeah. which is the second night that Gabriel is talking about. Um, and we have our group executive who's going to be opening up. Mm. Um, but if anybody's watching at home, homecoming today, this morning at 10 o'clock, 
There is the master class from the SABC. Yes. So please do, do come join. Zanella is on the panel. Oh, I've heard about the Sabi Legal. She's going to be there. Yes. Yes. Uh, Kat is going to be there. DJ yeah. Sabi from Metro FM is going to be there. And it's all about storytelling from, you know, from, from a talent point of view, right? Mm. So people think when you get a script, you just read it straight. But there's a, there's a real art in telling stories, right? And how do yeah. creatives... You know, we, you know, we're going to have quite a lot of creatives. How do they tap into you, mm. a storyteller, on the SABC platform? So it's going to be quite interesting. Yes. Um, yeah. I, I think it's going to be very beautiful indeed. And genuinely, with you just talking about how you know who else rather than the SABC, I think you're so right, Tichaba. I remember speaking to some of the greats, you know, that have worked on the platform, such as the SABC and other platforms, and they were like, there's nothing like the SABC that actually caters to the people of South Africa. And that's why I want to ask you, when we talk about the SABC actually being part of fostering talent and allowing local talent to actually have platforms to even make sure that we are truly celebrating the creativity of this country, you know, what does the SABC bring with this collaboration? So one of the key things we want to do is provide access, right? So one of the things we're doing with that is we're streaming the red carpet mm. of the awards you know, today and tomorrow on SABC Plus. So if you haven't downloaded SABC Plus, what's wrong with you? What, what, what was your problem? <laughs> Did you see it was trending on, on Twitter? Hey? When? SABC Plus. People are going crazy about oh, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, Bedazzled killed it. 100%. Right? A lot of people watch Bedazzled on SABC Plus. Mm -hmm. So in profiling the, the red carpet at the Luris, we're going to be interviewing creatives, yeah. you know, understanding exactly what does Gabelu do, right? So yeah. what goes into the process? And by doing that, people can get to see, oh, I can become an art director. Oh, yeah. Copywriting is actually a skill. Oh, wow, that guy actually won, you know? Mm. So it's about being inclusive in, 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 in the sector of creativity and marketing comms. And, you know, through our partnership, we will want to make sure that we showcase the, the or, or rather we become the gateway for people to become interested and join the sector. Amazing. And guys, I genuinely say thank you for that because I know that there's so many young people who do look to the arts to be like, I want to be part of that. But being able to actually know, I don't just have to be the presenter or the director. I can be the copywriter or yeah. whatever it may be. I think that that's so important. But Camelo, let's end off with you, please, because you know, there's so many young people, like I just said, who are possibly looking for that encouragement, but also just a little bit of guidance, you know, in terms of how to go about being part of the creative industry one day what would you say to them so I'd say like for the young people I think there's uh, a lot of opportunities for you to actually get involved um, I think with uh, the advent of technology mm -hmm. you know there's there's ways if you go to the um, you know to the, uh, the master classes as well as um, you go to the welcome site welcome center you know we have exhibition of all the student work so there's a student expo um, so there is potential uh, for you to actually be seen to Beautiful. connect and see what other what other people are doing in the industry yeah. um, and you know showcase your work and um, and like I was saying technology allows us to actually even put our portfolios out there um, you know and, and get uh, get noticed and, um, yeah. and 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 push your career forward I love that yeah. well gentlemen thank you for leading us fearlessly leadership we appreciate you <laughs> and I wish you all of the best for the rest of the week because I know like you said it's a huge celebration and it's a space for creativity to grow some more not just on the African continent but in the Middle East so thank you so much thank you thank so you. much thank, thank you thank you for having us yeah. Expresso family this is what it is about my friend us as a country and a continent and growing along with the Middle East at the Luris for 2024. You're going to be hearing more about it right here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Right about now, though, darling, we told you a diva was in the building, somebody who has truly gone on to have one of the biggest songs in the country. Here to perform his hit single, it is called In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins. It is none other than Michael Neal featuring DJ Kosha. Let's do it!